Welcome back to the Code Circus. Today, we are going to look at conditional statements in Python. First, let's talk about a conditional. What does it mean? It's a test. So if it's raining outside, then I need an umbrella. As simple as that. If the test is true, then the resulting statement happens. So for example, in Python, I could say, I'm going to go back to my monitor here, wrong screen, and I'm going to put in a conditional inside of the code here. And I'm going to say if, and I'm going to put in just a very simple test, true. That's about as simple as you can get, if true. Then we put the colon, then I press enter. Now notice something very interesting happens. My cursor moves in and is tabbed in underneath the word true, actually underneath the parentheses. Tabs are critical in Python. That's how it dictates all of the statements that will execute underneath this true statement. So I'm going to say print hello. And I'm going to run it. And you can see on the screen it says hello. Now if I were to take out this tab and try to run it, I get an error that says indentation error expected at an indented block. Now you could use just a single space. That's enough to indent it. It doesn't have to be a whole lot, but it does need to be consistent. So if you're using single spaces to indent, then you have to use single spaces to indent one block everywhere. Anything that I put at that level go but why do I keep not missing the single quote will still be part of that conditional so I'm going to run this again and it'll say hello and then bye actually it should be by BYE now I can put in a conditional that's false now if it's false then these two statements will not execute so if false you see nothing happens. So if whatever's in between the parentheses is false, then the statements will not execute. If whatever's between the parentheses is true, then the statements will execute. So let's try another one. If 10 is greater than five, that executes as true, it says hello, bye. But if I say one is greater than five, that's false and nothing happens. If I print a, put another print statement here, this print statement will execute no matter what because it is not indented underneath the if conditional. It is indented to the left because so, we have this extra space here. Now what if I were to put accidentally an extra space there? What would happen? Again, I'm going to get this indentation error. Python looks at this line here, print by, and says this doesn't match up with anything. It's not indented with one space like the line above it, and it's not all the way to the left, which means we're not going to execute it in order. So we have to be very careful with our indenting and our spacing. If you get that kind of error, go back and double check. You know, just hit backspace. Make sure you're getting the indentation that you expect and fix it. That way, the computer um, will not have any issues and errors. Now, we can also do comparisons to see if 3 equals equals 4. We know that's not true, right? <coughs> so it'll just print extra. We'll get that out of there. So three doesn't equal four. When we run it, it doesn't do anything. If I say three does not equal four, so this is a new operator. We haven't talked about this yet. 
it's an exclamation mark and then the equal symbol. This tells Python the comparison is three does not equal four. If we run this, and we can see, yeah, three does not equal four. That is absolutely correct. We can do less than or equal to. And it says hello, because three is less than or equal to four. Ha ha, that's a tricky one. Like three is not less than four, but it is equal to, because it really means less than or equal to. It's not just less than. We also have greater than or equal to. So we have equal to, equal to, which is a comparison of the two. Equals, equals. We have not equals. We have less than. We have greater than. We have greater than or equal to. And finally, we have less than or equal to. Those are all of the logical conditions that we can use with our Boolean operators that are supported in mathematics. Now, you don't have to have the parentheses around the condition. I like putting the parentheses around the condition, but it works just as well if I do it without the parentheses. It's just old habit I have. I always put parentheses around it. But it's entirely up to you whether or not you use the parentheses. So we can use this to test things. And so for example, I'm going to create a variable x. I'm going to say x is 20. I'm going to say y is 15. And I can say if y is less than or equal to x, then maybe I want to increase y. Tap that in. y equals, um, it's an assignment now because it's not equals equals, it's not a comparison, y plus 20. And then I want to print y. So now I'll know what the value of y is. So when I run this, I get y is 35 because 15 plus 20 is 35. The reason why that statement was executed is because in the beginning, 15 is less than or equal to 20. And we have our result. So we can use this to get the computer to start to make some important decisions. And you'll see at the end of our module, we're going to use this to get the computer to help us determine whether or not we've grabbed certain objects within our 3D environment. So that's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time on The Coding Circus.